Well, hello. I'm Wendy Burton. I'm a GP from Brisbane, and I'm here with my colleague, Grace Reynolds from Benalla in Victoria. She's a GP obstetrician, and we're going to talk today on the use of aspirin in early pregnancy. So Grace, really? Aspirin use in early pregnancy? I thought that was contraindicated. Doesn't that increase risk of miscarriage or something? Why would we be using aspirin in early pregnancy? Yeah. So there's actually some studies that taking low dose aspirin can have a benefit in pregnancy, mm -hmm. um, not with increased risk of miscarriage, but actually a benefit in reducing the incidence of placental disorders such as intrauterine growth restriction and um, preeclampsia. So is this for all women or are there only certain women who would benefit from such an intervention? So it's for women that we think might be at high risk of those conditions, the preeclampsia mm -hmm. or the growth restrictions, so placental sort of mediated conditions. Mm -hmm. So there are women who should definitely be on it, and those are women with conditions such as pre-existing hypertension, mm -hmm. pre-existing diabetes, type 1 or type 2, um, women with autoimmune disorders such as lupus or um, antiphospholipid syndrome, and women who've got um, chronic kidney disease. Now it strikes me that women who have those sorts of histories are likely to be considered high risk women and so long as as a GP I'm doing my job and I'm identifying that in her past history and including that in the referral that goes into the hospital and getting that referral in early because she is high risk my obstetric colleagues will pick that up. I don't really need to worry about it, do I? So most of those women probably will be picked up early as long as you make the referral early. But there are a few other women who are also at what we would call moderate risk, who may not be seen by the um, obstetricians until 20 weeks or so. And we know the benefit of starting aspirin is best if it started before 16 weeks, because that's when the placenta's developing. Is this for the moderate risk women or the higher risk women or both? All women, if we're going to start aspirin, we should try and start it before 16 weeks. So absolutely, there's a lot of my low risk or moderately elevated risk women who won't be seen before 16 weeks in the yeah. hospital. But tell me some more about the moderate risk women. Yeah, so when we think about moderate risk women and starting them on um, aspirin, we think about um, if they've got more than one moderate risk factor. And that might be things like um, women with a booking BMI of 35. So that's quite a lot of women nowadays mm -hmm. um, or above. Women who have a multiple pregnancy, now they're probably going to be picked up early as well, but um, that's something else to consider. Women with a family history of preeclampsia, mm -hmm. so important that we get a good um, family history, not wow. just personal history. Yes. Um, primiparous women are also a high risk. Mm -hmm. Women over the age of 40, um, and women who've had more than 10 years in between their pregnancies. So you can see that would encompass quite a number of women with you know, mm. two or more of those risk factors. Sure, so obviously at some stage, every woman's gonna be primiparous. Yes. Um, but I can certainly think and reflect on my own pa patient population. And so yes, women who are first time mums with a BMI over 35, yeah. or women who are first time mums uh, maybe over 40, I would yeah. have women in that cohort. Yeah, quite sure. a few. So that family history though with mum with preeclampsia, would it be mum, just mum or sisters? Does that matter? Yeah, either I think. So that know, family history, yeah. so important that we get that family history, oh mm, my gosh, yeah. um, for this. And then 300 milligrams, 100 milligrams, what, what dose? Yeah, so there's studies been done on 100 to 150 milligrams. Oh, that's now, precise. Yeah, 100 <laughs> is obviously the easier dosage because there's a tablet for that, but the studies have showed that it's better benefits with 150. So what they actually recommend is getting the 300 milligram tablet with mm -hmm. the foil, cutting it in half and taking that half a tablet now it's important that you dispose of the other half of the tablet be Why is? because once it's been exposed to the air it actually loses its sort of effect and so oh, um, okay. you know it's pretty cheap so you throw okay. the other half away mm -hmm. um, and that's going to be the most benefit mm -hmm. and there's been some studies showing that it's actually more beneficial in reducing these conditions um, and reducing hypertension in pregnancy if it's taken at night time I don't know why but that's what the studies show okay oh wow so in summary, if I've got this right, correct yeah. me if I haven't. So there is a group of women who will benefit from 
low dose aspirin being 150 milligrams, yep. half of a 300 milligram tablet, throw the rest away, take it at night. Yep. Started early in pregnancy, as early as possible? As early as possible, okay, so once definitely. it's a viable pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Definitely before 16 weeks. Yeah. Uh, and that, that group of women will include high risk women that I might be um, mindful of, such as women with hypertension, uh, women with autoimmune disorders, yep. uh, women with renal disease. Um, yep, that was, um, and then the, oh, and the, the diabetes. diabetes. Yeah, yep. yep. so women with diabetes, so high risk women, and I could certainly start that myself. Yes, um, definitely. And get those referrals in early and let the hospital know that I've done that. Yeah. Um, but also then be very mindful, I think, in the general practice context, where most of us are looking after women for the first, often half of their pregnancy. Yeah, definitely. So the opportunity to modify this risk factor falls to us. Yeah. So that would be women, and we would see this, so women who might have a multiple pregnancy, first time mums, more yeah. than 10 years between babies, uh, BMI over 35, age over 40, yeah. have I missed any? Just the family history of preeclampsia. Family history of preeclampsia, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. GPs, we can do this, yes? Yeah, we can. Okay, Grace, thank you.